Welcome my beautiful Sagittarius. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of April the 26th to May the 2nd. 2021. Keep in mind this is a general reading. Not every single card may resonate with every single one of you, but some of it will. Run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. Okay, let's see what we have here for our all over energy card. You've been given mental conflict. So this actually is the two up of uh, swords. You could be, uh, you might have crossed uh, paths with somebody else. You might be in, uh, you know, conflict with somebody else. You might have locked horns with somebody else and or you could be in conflict with yourself. Uh, having a, you know, having a, you know, a mental conflict with yourself. A decision and a choice that maybe you're troubled with and you have to make. Um, it could be a legal issue. Maybe you're dealing with somebody else and their energy where there is a settlement or there's something supposed to be, uh, you know, uh, in agreement. You have a decision and a choice to make with each other. Uh, this this says, you know, you're not seeing the picture in complete clarity. You need to get all the information before you can go forward and make this decision so that you're not so conflicted. You're not so uh, unsure of the choice and decision you're supposed to make. Okay, your first uh, energy card is a romance card and you have been given uh, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So some of you could be in a relationship with somebody. It could be romantic or platonic, but it's telling me that you, you know, you need to let go of control issues. Don't try to force this relationship to go any faster than it is. You might be a little bit, uh, a little bit um, impatient right now and you're wanting to you're wanting to control it or you're wanting to control everything about it. So it's easier to go with the flow right now. You're being given this information and you're given this message right now that you need to pull back. Pull back and don't force any issues this week. Look what you got for sur what your surrender card is. Surrender your desire to control people double whammy. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. Exactly. And I think this has to do with a relationship here, a partnership, a love relationship of some sort. Because you also have the, the you also have the ring here and the ring is commitment. Maybe you're pushing for commitment from from your significant other uh, and you know in this relationship and it's not happening fast enough. But know that you if you push it you can you could uh, sabotage it. So be careful. Be careful you're not pushing too hard. Um, you know, because I know you. Want, some of you might want commitment. You might be waiting for that. You might want to finally have that commitment. And I think you're going to find struggles this week if you force it. For others, you know, this means happiness. This means full circle. This means a great connection. This means engagement and, and uh, you know, partnerships coming in. But, you know, looking at this, I would say the majority of me that are in a relationship might be wanting to take it to the next level. And it's not moving as fast as you want it to at this moment. But I think if you keep forcing it, um, you could sabotage it. So be careful there. Now, your crowning energy is beautiful. You've got the emperor and the emperor stands for leadership. I think you're stepping up and you might be, you know, he is in control. He does step up. But don't force the issue here when it comes to this partnership and relationship. But this could be in business as well. So I think you could be stepping up. You could be asked to speak publicly. Maybe you're having to communicate and convey whatever information you have uh, to someone or to the, to the public, uh, you know, you could be, or people at your place of work. But I do think that you're stepping up into a you know, into a leadership role here. Do that because the emperor does that. He, he does everything right. He goes by the book and he steps up and takes control of a situation. And with this decision here that you might be conflicted with, with someone else, and it could be a legal decision, you know, uh, there could be mediation going on that isn't working out in your favor. Right now, I think you need to take the leadership and the bull by the horns. And if somebody is dragging their heels about making a decision about something, whether it's in a relationship, whether it's in a legal action, whatever it is, I think you're going to step up and take that role and say, you know what, I'm going to make this decision for us because you can't. 
Okay, now you've got the Queen of Wands, and again, that's staying focused. She's been to hell and back. She's been through the fire. She's she's the queen that goes out there and says to all the naysayers, watch me. Okay, so you're staying very focused. Move towards your goals. Don't back down. Learn from those mistakes or from those lessons from your experiences of the past to go forward and stay focused on that goal that you want. You've got the Knight of Wands coming in behind you as well, and the Knight of Wands is a great card that says, hey, get ready. Get Get ready for something to come into you. Get ready for something exciting to come into you. You're going to step up and you're going to be able to see something exciting. All right. A significant situation. The Knight of Wands shows up and this means something's going to happen fast and you're going to have to act on it. But don't make any rash decisions. I think there could be something coming in towards you that's going to allow you to be liberated and be able to beat to your own drum and go on your own path in the direction you want to go. So I think, you know, also you have to to realize that this could be uh, somebody coming in very quickly for a very fast and passionate love affair coming towards some of you. It also represents travel and often refers to business travel. Also, you could be moving and uh, to a new residence and um, something could be coming up very suddenly that might even seem like an emergency to you. Now you've got the you've got the wheel of fortune, so I wouldn't be worrying too much. Um, I think you're going to be able to handle things uh, in an articulate collective and in a very uh, you know. Uh, expedient but careful way the wheel of fortune says you know you're karmically being sent a shift of energy good luck uh, you know you're able now to, to go forward and go after your passion and your goals making those decisions to that are going to help you move forward successfully the wheel of fortune is always a good card in any reading you could be receiving some unexpected money you could be receiving a settlement you could be receiving an inheritance uh, it, you know it's like a windfall coming in towards you now above your crowning energy you have the two of pentacles and that refers to balance okay you might be taking on too much uh, more than actually you can physically or mentally uh, handle right now so be careful keep yourself in alignment stay on the path but balance yourself don't overdo don't overtake on too much you might be uh, also being presented with two decisions and two choices and two offers and options coming into you the temperance says things are moving slow and it's important you do things in moderation. Don't go forcing the issue with anything this week. Don't go pushing something if it's not ready to happen. I realize it's hard when we're waiting for something to come in and we want it so bad, but when we push it, we can sabotage ourselves. Don't overdo anything yourself. Don't overindulge. Don't overwork. Um, you know, don't overtax yourself mentally. Okay. Uh, don't obsess about things and worry too much. This is a card of doing things in moderation, taking your time. The Seven of Wands shows up, picking your battles wisely. Okay, stand your ground and don't back down, but also pick your pick your battles wisely. You might have to be defending yourself and your beliefs and your decisions right now about something, but know that you're going to do this and you will be successful at it. Uh, and stand up for your convictions, right? Because there could be others out there that envy you, what you possess, what you have, what you offer. Um, you know what? You could be learning to say no to certain people here. Okay, and that's okay. No is a full sentence. Remember that. So you could also be stepping up and powering others, those that are in power. Maybe, you know, you're, you're, you're dealing with, uh, you know, um, banks. Maybe you're dealing with lawyers. Maybe you're dealing with uh, your employer. But stand your ground because you're right. Okay, persevere. Now underneath that you've got three things here and wands are always progress. Wands are always action. Wands are always stepping up to do that and you know you're going to be able to see things coming into fruition here. Now you know you've been given the two of wands here. You've been given the seven of wands here. You've been given the queen of wands here and now below that you're going to get the the three of wands. I mean this is amazing. So you are coming into your own. You're making your mark on the world here. Some of you might be going the extra distance extra distance to succeed at what you're doing pushing you know all the right buttons and staying focused uh, and I want you to do that I want you to stay balanced here okay but don't take on more than you can handle but this is also maybe some of you are dealing with people internationally virtually uh, maybe you're going to be having to travel for business or it could be for pleasure um, but I do think that you're going to continue forging ahead and don't be discouraged because there could be some minor delays that you're waiting on and that could be this what this temperance is representing 
representing here. So I do think you're going to be going through some negotiations and they're going to move through uh, successfully for you at this time. Um, you know, there could be contracts and business agreements that are going to need to be addressed. Uh, and you know what? This is controlled progress. So know that you're moving forward at the perfect pace you should be going because you've taken control. You're the emperor here. The three of wands. I told you you had the two, you had the seven, you had the, t oh my gosh. So yes, and you had the knight of wands coming in. So there's a lot of progress, a lot of activity, a lot of action moving forward here. Uh, you know, this is great. So now with the three of, 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 uh, of wands. This is, you know, the fact that you, you've you laid a path of stepping stones for success in business right now. And you need to congratulate yourself, some of you. You need to keep going with the next project, though. You're still waiting. You're watching for your ship to come in, but you've done everything you could do. Okay. This is about you being patient and waiting for it. You've set the blueprint now for your future. And, you know, use this time to explore other opportunities, other possibilities, how to promote yourself, your business and your talents at this time. Beautiful. So there's a lot of activity. You're moving forward. As long as you don't push something too quickly here and take uh, and try to control a situation that really you shouldn't. Okay. Um, I think you're going to be able to make those right decisions because you've got the emperor here. You're your own boss and look what you've got. You know what? I'm going to shuffle these in front of you because I want you to see that these are shuffled. Spirit, please send me the cards that they need to see, they need to know the messages, and they need to expect. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. So I usually shuffle these three times, and then if my guides tell me to shuffle once more, I do, and they're telling me to shuffle once more. So I will shuffle once more so that we can get the right cards for clarification. There we are. Put that top card on the bottom. Thank you. Okay. That's what they told me. Okay. So with the Emperor, you have the Five of Swords. I think maybe you've had to fight a battle here. And you stood up and you said, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm taking control of myself. I need to do what's right for me. And you know what? You win the battle, but often what happens is you still feel like you were defeated. It's like a no-win situation. We always know when we go into battle mode that there's going to be risks and there's going to be consequences and we have to be willing to take them. So pick your battles wisely. If this battle is worth going in for, something that you're advocating and defending yourself for, you'll get it. Uh, there always is a winner and there's always a loser, right? So be careful. Pick your battles wisely, but you have this ability now to take control of what you want. Our Queen of Wands, you have the Page of Cups. There could be somebody coming in emotional, sensitive, psychic. Uh, they have that ability to uh, nurture you through a time. They may be a temporary uh, distraction. They could look younger, act younger, or be younger than you. And they could act actually be offering you uh, their attention and affection and perhaps love. Um, I think you're at a point here where you're going to stand up for yourself and you're not going to allow other people to determine your direction you're going or your happiness because I think you're going to get naysayers that are going to say why are you going out with that individual or hanging out with them? They're a lot younger than you are. Well I don't think you're going to put up with that crap. I think you're going to take care of yourself. That's what being a leader is all about and enjoy your own happiness. It's nobody else's business. And the Knight of Wands, this could be somebody coming in as well very quickly. You know, a situation's over here. You might have felt as though you were tied down and you couldn't move forward. You were waiting for action, but it wasn't happening. Not anymore. This is the Ten of Swords that says, that's over now. You're able now to get up and go in a brand new, beautiful direction. The worst is over. And the Wheel of Fortune's telling you that here. You've got the Emperor, double whammy. Yeah, now you're able to step out. Maybe some of you are, you know, you've got the resources now to open your own business or go towards a goal or a passion of your own. Uh, and you're going to do that. You're taking the stand now. Uh, you're taking control of what you want to do and you're doing all the right things. And that's why you're seeing happiness come in. Our Two of Pentacles, we have the, again, a double whammy, Wheel of Fortune. Ah, oh, fabulous. So the universe is obviously telling you uh, that this is a time for you, a time for you. Okay, to be happy, to know that the wheels karmically being turned, you're going to have reason to celebrate and be happy at this time. Wow, fabulous. Okay. Things are going slow. Do things in moderation with the temperance. You have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so um, I think that something's going to come in very quickly. Uh, you've had 
the Knight of Wands, which is quick action as well. But now you have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords says you might be stepping up to defend yourself, but you might be stepping up to sign contracts as well. This is something important that comes in that you have to act on. You can't procrastinate. Once this temperance is over, you're going to see that you're going to have to act on something. So don't drag your heels. This could be the signing of contracts or or uh, you know communication of some sort seven of wands what have we got we have the ace of swords standing in your truth your integrity and everything now is going to come into clarity you're going to be able to see things in the truth uh you know you might have had to fight a battle here but you won it wow two of wands what have we got we got temperance again you saw me shuffle these cards my darlings so you're getting all these messages that you really need to not push situations here that aren't moving as quickly as you want again this is a card of patience okay the two of wands and then you get temperance on it so you're waiting for something to happen some of you it could be a relationship a partnership in business uh it could be romance it could also be you're waiting for something here with a decision that you had to make perhaps in a legal action just be patient you've got the three of wands watching again for your ship to come in the hierophant okay blessing and message from the divine so you've done you've done things right my beautiful Scorpio so don't worry you're going to see this coming into you just be patient I think some of you are going to be uh, this is a unity card you could be meeting new people you could be uh, getting together with a group spiritual groups uh, you could be uh, meeting people that want to walk the same path as you have the same beliefs likes and faith that you have and the same passion this is a beautiful card I love it. It could also be the card of, of a wedding. There could be something happening at a church for some of you. Okay, my beautiful Sagittarians, this is your reading for this week. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to. And always remember, the universe is not happening to you. The universe is reacting to you. So be mindful what you're throwing out there. And remember that the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace so don't fight it surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness blessings my beautiful souls and know that i always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you let's all play safe stay safe and be safe and we'll all see each other very soon